Okay, hello year one, and it is now going to be our first lesson of the day. Good morning. And today, we were supposed to be having a wow day at school. Now, I know our wow days did get cancelled, but we thought in year one we could hold a mini wow day for you guys at home as well. So, we will do a proper wow day when we are back at school, but we thought we'd just do a mini one today. So, let me share my screen and show you what we're up to. Okay, so today for our mini wow day, what I'd like you to do is to create an animal. Okay, and I'm going to go through the slideshow now, which is going to give you some inspiration. Remember, in our classrooms, we have a magpie board. Now, we put really, really amazing bits of vocabulary up on that magpie board, and you are allowed to go and magpie them because magpies like shiny things. So you can take the bits that you like and you can include them in your writing. That's what I'd like you to do during this. I'd like you to pretend that this is a magpie board. I'd like you to look for the parts that you really, really like, and then I'd like you to use them when you are creating your own animal. That's what inspiration means. You can copy bits that you like and jumble them all together to make something unique and special. So our learning intention is to create an animal. So I'm gonna firstly show you some habitat. It's one of our key words for our jaws, paws and claws topic. And a habitat is simply where an animal lives. So this is a rainforest. And if you look deep in that picture, you can see some fantastic things. Think about what animals you might spot inside that rainforest. Maybe on each habitat you can pause, have a closer look at your screen, and then think about what animals you might see there. This is a desert. Okay, a very different place to a rainforest, very sandy and golden, some lovely adjectives to describe. But what animals do you think you'd spot there? Here we have a lovely mountain range. Okay, it's really snowy at the top up there, isn't it? Okay, a nice luscious and green towards the bottom. But what kind of animals would you spot up there? We've got some African plains now. Okay, close your eyes, imagine you're on a safari truck. What are you going to see in the African plains? I'm picturing in my head a big African elephant or some lions stalking their prey. So prey is an animal that they're going to eat. Okay, and the lions are the predators. They are the scary animals that are going to eat the other animal. And those are some more keywords from our uh, George Paws and Claws topic. And all the Arctic, very different to the African plains. What animals do you think we'd spot there? Maybe some penguins, maybe a polar bear. Oh, now we're underwater. Remember, there's a whole other place underwater, and there's a whole set of animals under there. Okay, what animals do you think you could see swimming around in there? You can actually see some in that picture. We've got woodland now. Okay, and some of you may have been to Wendover Woods. What kind of animals would you maybe spot in there? Oh, now we're moving on to the animals part. We've looked through the habitats, now we're looking at the animals. So your task today is to create your own animal. So when we go through these animals, have a look at the key parts of the animal. What do you like? What can you take and include on your animal? So for the toucan here, you might take its lovely beak or its beautiful colored feathers or its sharp claws. Oh, there's some lovely elephants there. You might decide that your animal is going to have a trunk or some tusks or some big floppy ears like Dumbo. Oh, a lovely camel lives in the desert. But you might decide that your animal is going to have a hump like a camel. You might decide that your animal is going to be big and fluffy like a polar bear because it's going to live somewhere cold and it needs the warmth. You might decide that your animal is going to be an underwater animal and that it might have tentacles or it might have fins to help it swim and glide underwater. You might decide that yours is going to have patterns on. OK, look at the badger. He's got lovely black and white pattern on his face. You might have multi colours on yours. Oh, look at that lovely pattern. You might make an insect. OK. There's a hawk. Yours, your animal might be a flying animal. Oh, goodness me. I don't like spiders. But you might decide to make a creepy crawly. 
So, like I said at the start of the video, I want you to take some inspiration from the images that you've looked at. And if you were at school, you'd be completing a little worksheet. You could print that at home if you have the option. If not, you can just draw it on a scrap piece of paper or in one of the workbooks that you've been working through. And then you could think about where it is living, the habitat, you can create a name for it, and you can answer some of these questions. So does your creature live in a hot place, a cold place, a dry place, a wet place? What does it eat? We're gonna learn some new keywords here. Is it a carnivore? That means it eats meat. Is it a herbivore? That means it eats plants. Or is it an omnivore? That means it eats a bit of both, some plants and some meat. Think about what one you are. Does it have skin, feathers or scales? Why does it have those? Does it have feathers to help it fly? Does it have fur to keep it warm? How does your creature move? Has it got wings? Has it got legs? Does it slither like a snake? Okay. Is it a predator or prey? Remember we spoke about the lion being the predator. And the poor, I don't know, it could be a warthog being the prey, the one that's going to get eaten. What's your animal? Is it a predator or is it a prey? Don't forget to name it and make sure you draw a lovely picture of it. I cannot wait to see what you design and remember we're going to be using these animals in our afternoon english lesson okay cannot wait to see what you've done remember you can submit them to your email accounts which is the beach email or the elm email and um, mrs brandt and i are super excited to see